In this lesson, we want to show the steps uh, that we need to follow to start using Fury. And of course, this is really important and just relevant because, as we know, Fury is one of the cornerstones of these new releases. So well, uh, we will just show the, the steps to connect. That will be just the first and we will run an app. As we probably know by now, the Fury apps are built using a technology that is very similar to the technology that most of the websites that we use every day uh, use. So for this, um, that's a, that is a reason we need to use a web browser. So uh, most of the modern browsers can just work with Fury just uh, seamlessly without any uh, issues. But um, then the decision is just uh, pretty much a, a matter of taste. And uh, we really like uh, Safari, we also like uh, Firefox and Chrome. So in this, uh, right now that we're in a desktop computer, we will use Chrome to show just the steps. Actually, uh, we already have uh, one uh, window of Chrome open and we will just open a new tab. Uh, definitely, as you can see, um, the administrators of this system uh, have just also uh, enabled a quick link into the Fiori logon. So let's just click on that one. But of course, it's just valid to say that at the end of the day, this is just a URL. Uh, and um, most of the times also, I mean, the, the users that will work with Fiori every day, uh, they just uh, set up a quick uh, shortcut, uh, just like a, in the desktop, like a shortcut that you can just double click and they will take it, um, this, the computer will take you directly to this website so we can start using Fiori. Of course, as you can see, even from this first um, screen, we have uh, a much nicer, more graphic and just user-friendly uh, user interface. So, well, let's start uh, with the steps. Let's just enter our user and, of course, the password. We could change the language uh, to any of these available languages, for example. But right now, well, we, we just go, we'll just go with English. So, let's log on. And at first, uh, Fiori will just load what we call the Fiori Launchpad. Just think of this as your home page. And um, we could uh, use these tiles just to uh, click on them and uh, the tile will just uh, call a, um, the underlying application. Uh, but uh, actually, we will start just this demo with um, uh, just something really easy, which is an information system report. But for that, we need also to discuss uh, the objects that we have at the top. They seem like hyperlinks, it's just like text. But actually, in th at the end of the day, this is just uh, what we call a group of apps. So um, let's switch to the group of apps for controlling. Because here we have... Uh, the report that we want to run right now, which is just the cost centers plan actual. So this report will allow uh, us uh, just to query the database uh, so the, the system can show um, the values for a given cost center and we can compare uh, the actual and plan column so we can compare uh, actual costs again against plans plan costs. So well, let's uh, run this up just really easy because we just need to click once on it. And of course, um, well, at first, uh, just this pop up with uh, the parameters that we need to complete to query the database uh, it shows up. So let's start with the fiscal year. We will also, sel uh, also select a posting period uh, for June. And uh, it's important to maybe notice that we have these red asterisks for some of the fields, for some others we don't have those. But of course, these are just the uh, like a, a way to point out that the field is mandatory. So well, uh, also what it's uh, important maybe to notice is that actually for all of these fields, we have this icon on the right hand side, which is like two like squares one on top of each other. And for people who have been using the, the SAP system for a long time, even the previous graphical user interface, um, the classical one, uh, you are familiar with this. This is what we call the match code. Um, and yes, in Fiori, it looks a bit different, but it's the same uh, principle. And well, for some of you that are maybe a bit just new to SAP, um, let's just show uh, how can we use it just by clicking on it. And the idea behind this actually is that, as you can see, it's like a, a report in itself, because the idea is that anytime a user has a doubt 
on which like what value should the the user select for a given field what they can do is just they can um use the match code and um, again it's like a little report that will show all the permitted values for that particular field so for us in in this example we want the actual plan version version zero so we can just select that value select that line and click ok and also well immediately we'll have the correct value for the field so it's like also like a way a way to prevent uh, errors uh, just because uh, we use uh, uh, only possible values uh, 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 because those are the only values that will be shown by the match code so well uh, let's now continue with the company code for this we'll enter the id which is well, ta-10 and the cost center which is um, well, for this example, TA10 1200. Okay, after we have entered all these uh, parameters, let's just click OK. And as easy as this, uh, we'll have immediately the data in our report. Uh, the app is now uh, executed, it, it queried the database and just very quickly just show the results. Of course, this is just, uh, for example, we can see the the GL account that was used for this posting. Uh, we only have one actually, and it's uh, the value is for 1,090 euros with 91 cents. Um, and well, this is just a very simple example. There are much more complex apps that, uh, well, depending on what we want the, the app for and what, how the app was built, was built. This was just a quick example, just a report. We have finished just comparing, for example, the actual against the amount, uh, the actual amount against the plan, which, of course, actually, the plan is completely empty, so the, full, the difference is the full actual amount. <laughs> so, well, that is just like a quick look uh, to the report, to the cost center, and, of course, just to, to one of our first Fury apps. So now we just want to show the steps to uh, quit this app, and for this, this is just really easy. We can just click the CP logo uh, at the top left and immediately we'll be back uh, in the Fury Launchpad. So well, with this, we want just to finish this uh, intro lesson, and of course, we just imagine to keep learning with all of the rest.